Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And coffee in my new Starbucks cup that I got for my birthday. I love it. And I have hazelnut Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Mmm, delicious. And I love these mugs. I know they're very expensive. I think they're like $23. So that is pricey, I know that, and I appreciate them all. But I will tell you, if you, especially if you commute to work or, you know, outside of the house, these keep your coffee hot. Do not put them in the dishwasher. The paint scratches off. So I hand wash these always, but the metal ones, oh, they keep my coffee hot for hours, and I love them. But they're pricey. I get that, and that was a gift for my birthday. Okay, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. A lot of it is going to be for gift wrapping because that's what I needed. So I went and purchased, but I have some other things to share. I found a couple more of these placemats. I'm going to tell you, this is a nice quality placemat. But what I'm going to do is make a pillow out of it. Now, I'm going to cricket something on the front with the iron on. You don't have to. But if you see in the back here, and if you're a sewer, you know these things. But there's little threads. Because this is actually two pieces of linen type fabric stitched together. Now it's also ironed like with a fusible webbing. So you do have to like pull it apart. And don't you're not going to rip it and break it. Um, it's going to give you some resistance. Let's see if I can... Uh, well, I can't. But I don't want to break my teeth. It's, it's glued together with a fusible winter interfacing. Not a problem. Just pull it apart. And then what you can do is take a scissor or if you have a seam ripper that comes in your little sewing kits and rip the seam. You're just wanting to pluck the threads out to open this up and put stuffing in it. You could use an old pillow. If you have a flat pillow, that is perfect. Cut it open, take your stuffing and stuff it in one of these. And then you can take hot glue and close it up no sewing involved and if you've got little ones you can give them some fabric paint and let them or even just some acrylic paint and let them paint on the front or you could paint with um some chalk paint and put um a stencil if you did that i would do it before you stuff it and then i would open it put some parchment or wax paper in here and then paint on it so it doesn't bleed through to the back but so cute so besides placemats i am making bed pillows I bought three of them because that's what I found. And I'm going to make two pillows for my bed and maybe one for down here for a little pillow that goes where the uh, my Patriots is. If you can see, I'm undecorating right now because this weekend, I think, I'm getting ready to decorate my house for Christmas. I'm off on Monday um, for some doctor's appointments. And I'm like, I've got the time so that I have to use it up by the end of the year. So, yeah, perfect. You could also, if you wanted to make a bedspread, sew these together, but that might get pricey. It might be cheaper just to buy fabric, but you're not going to get a pillow cover for a dollar, I can guarantee you. And this is actually nice quality. So if you find them, grab them. Oh, sorry, Alex. Um, I picked up for some crafting purposes. I'm going to make some different gnomes. I have a video, hopefully that'll be out this week, of all Dollar Tree gnomes for this year. And I grabbed some of these children's size socks. They're just knee socks to make some little gnomes. Um, so you could honestly use it for the hat, the body, or both. And you get two pairs. So that's four gnomes out of $1 worth of socks. So I grabbed those. I grabbed another pack of these larger glue sticks for my big glue gun. And I'm, I'm happy with how this glue works. It sticks. I'm not having any issues, I guess I should say with the larger and I like that they're super long now again maybe not cost effective but I don't use the big boy that frequently because it does put out a lot of glue but I needed some more sticks and then I grabbed this little fish bowl and I should have grabbed more than one so maybe I'll grab another one if I see it for my mantle I'm gonna make put some little um or for behind me here uh fake snow and bottle brush trees you can do it this way too if you want to make a cloche and glue it down like I did with the snowballs but I'm going to do it this way this time so I grabbed one my store only had one or I would have typically I grabbed two of those things 
um, because I think, I don't know, I think it'll go here. I might know more when I take out my Christmas decor and see what I have. I don't need to go crazy this year. I've got plenty. Um, and that's why I'm trying not to buy new decor. I'm just re I'm going to be recreating a few things that I already have. Um, upcycle, if you will. Upcycle to my upcycles. Um, I did pick up some dishes. And I only got, because it's just me, and I just enjoy the holidays and eating off a festive plate. So I grabbed a little, I mean, this is considered, I think, a salad or a bread plate. Um, but that's the size plate I eat on. So I grabbed that and a bowl for to eat dinner on. <laughs> Because I just think it's fun. So I'll, you know, wash them every night and use them for the holiday month. And then they'll get put away. And I don't have any festive plates. And I have a couple plates, but I didn't have any bowls. And I've been making, like, soups and stew. And for a dollar, they're cute. I mean, you could totally decorate a whole table with these and be so festive and very reasonably priced, for sure. Um, what else did I get that's not necessarily just Christmas? I grabbed some band-aids. Please, can you say, these are Wonder Woman, and it says truth, love, and justice. Um, but my fingers have not been splitting, so, but I always keep band-aids on hand with cats and a lot of DIYing and stuff. Sorry, I'm sitting on the floor. Um, I tend to get little cuts, you know. Gotta keep band-aids on hand. I found one of these, literally one of these. It's like a caboodle. If you're my age or a little younger, you will remember the rage of the caboodles. Now this one doesn't have the shelf that lifted up. That is okay. I'm perfectly capable of cricketing on here or decorating or if you have a little girl or a little boy, if they have the, I don't know what other colors they came in. But if you have a little guy, you could take the sticker off, fill this with like cars, make it like a lunchbox or something. It doesn't have to just be for girls in makeup. You could spray paint this a different color if they like a different color. I mean, it's just plastic. I may use this for uh, my first aid kit. Put my band-aids and my stuff in it and put it under my bathroom sink. Because I think I have them kind of scattered about right now. But I think that would be good. You could also use it for your glue gun and glue sticks. Any kind of craft storage. But it's so portable and so cute. Or if you do have a little girl or a teenager, you could fill it with nail polish and all kinds of stuff. And make the perfect little Christmas gift. Like a gift basket idea. Nail polish remover, nail polish, cotton balls, the whole thing. Nail files. I mean, how cute would that be? So for a dollar, I think that's fantastic. And on the boy side, if you wanted to do that and not mess with this, they have toolboxes for a dollar that last year I gifted to my brother-in-law and I filled it full of beard stuff that I had bought like at other stores, but I put it in here and I put it on there with my Cricut well-groomed. And I filled that toolbox with all kinds of manscaping stuff. And he loved it. So Dollar Tree has options. You know, maybe you won't get the whole gift there. But you can certainly save on packaging and things like that. Um, I grabbed a 12-pack of condiment cups. Because everybody loves a good condiment. And I use these. I try to reuse them. But if I'm going out for lunch or packing my lunch... Um, I know we don't go out a whole lot anymore, but there are times that I'm packing meals for different things. I like to put like condiments and stuff in there. Nothing major. Um, for my brother and sister-in-law's cat, Tig, I got some Nine Lives treats for her. I'm not sure what she likes anymore. Her, her palette changes. So she'll get some of these and then some of the pound soft ones. I grabbed those. And I think that's it for the pets. I'm done. Uh, Sister-in-law loves Do Your Mints, and I like to get her the Peppermint Crunch ones. It'll go in her gift. And other sister-in-laws, I bought both of them the word search books, and I grabbed these pens. Now, they're both my age and my generation, so we all remember these from school, and I thought that was super fun. And their name brand, they were a dollar, and this one has the pastel colored ink. 
and I got, got them each a word search. So I'm going to attach this pen and some candy to the word search. So I need to get my other sister-in-law some peanut M&Ms because she likes those. But yeah, and I'm putting them in a gift bag, like a gift box that I'm creating. And if you'd like, I could do a video of how I'm packaging this stuff. If you have an interest, let me know. And then I picked up these gel pens. Um, I love these pens. They write very well. There's a color, this is, I think what I would consider this the spring colors, um, but they're out, so I grabbed them. It's quick dry. The pen barrel is like triangular, so it writes ergonomic. Um, the set I'm using now is gold, orange, brown, and green uh, for fall. And so when I'm writing in my notebooks and my lists and work, I've been using that one. And then I'll switch over to this one after Christmas. And I know they sell a pack that has red, green, gold, and silver. I think I have that pack. So I'll switch to that once I decorate for Christmas. I mean, doesn't everybody have pens for their, it makes me happy. Okay. <laughs> so I grabbed these pens. Um, Dollar Tree finds these are fabulous gel pens. And they would work good if your kids like to color in the adult coloring books or the smaller coloring books with gel pens. These would work great. Um, I picked up two trays of just the smaller. I'm going to use these for my two neighbors that have little ones. I'm going to build the cookie decorating kits on this one. And then the one neighbor, he's, I think he's a, a only single child and he's older. So I'll just give him a tray of baked cookies. Uh, but for the young girls, I'm going to make them some sugar cookies that are undecorated. I'm gonna give them some frosting and some sprinkles. Just plain white frosting that I'll make homemade. Um, and they can decorate their own cookies. I might throw in some like plastic butter knives so they can smear it. But I grab these two. I like the sides are rounded up and then I can just wrap them in cellophane and deliver them. And these were cute and I liked them. Uh, for the girls, I will put their cookies for Santa plate in the bottom so it'll they'll have that um and then I found my brother loves these pickles and they're part of his Christmas present so I just it's a joke in our family we were Thanksgiving two years ago and Sarah had picked up these for the charcuterie board tray vegetable platter crudite whatever you want to call it and she had picked up this brand of pickles and they're good I eat them all the time and I will tell you why I love them they don't add sugar and some brands add sugar but this brand does not so anyway my brother was eating them he's like these are the best pickles ever and we're all laughing because we know they came from the dollar tree so uh, i bought him some because you know they're the best pickles ever and when your brother thinks they're the best pickles ever what if um so i grabbed him a jar to go with his present and then i picked up two more desktop games i'm gonna have quite the collection of these this is desktop hockey it's a hockey rink, a gold net, one player, one server, and three pucks. So, yeah. I don't know. I think it, this one might be magnetic. And then there's a magnetic dartboard for your desk. I'm telling you, I'm coming up with a whole arcade of little tabletop games. Maybe one day what I'll do is put them all, set them all up and we'll play. So I grabbed these two because I think they're fun. And I think what I'll do is maybe take them to my family at Christmas time and we'll all play them have a little contest or something with the teens um so i just think they're fun i've been collecting them when i see them all right now i think all that i have left yep is like gift wrapping stuff well one more crafty item i grabbed these bells um and you get two so four of them for a dollar and they're they i need to take them apart but if you can see they have a nice um opening at the top they're gold i don't mind the gold but i think i might spray paint them i seem to be drawn this year to red and black so i might um spray paint them and i did get two sets and i can hang them on my mantle potentially or on a garland yeah so two dollars and if you just hang them on the greenery that you get from the dollar tree you can have a three dollar garland that is fantastic so i grabbed two of those um, I just need to spray paint them, which I already have the spray paint, but what I'm going to do probably is I'm going to have to dig off like all of this glue and bow and stuff. There's a lot of hot glue involved here, guys. Yeah. 
it comes off easy though, so that's lovely. Yep, just gotta take it apart. All right, gift wrapping ideas and stuff. I picked up some of this, voila, crinkle, it's decorative shred, it's just crinkle cut paper. I have another bag upstairs in the red. So when I put together my gift mugs and cups, I will use this. And I am creating that video this week for sure, probably later today, in the same shirt. Um, if you haven't figured out, I love to do a lot of my video recording on the weekends and putting it out for throughout the week because I work during the week. So this just works. But this is great shred for decorations. It also keeps like any glasses protected if you gave like an ornament or whatever. This is great for gift baskets. Um, it is a little messy, but I don't care. So I have two of them, maybe three. I have to go check, but I needed to make sure I had enough. So I grabbed that. And then for this gift basket idea that I'm doing with the mugs, I bought a lot of candy that needs to go in these cups. So I may not have room in the cello bags that I have. So I just in case I pack, picked up a couple of these packs of the smaller gift bags and they're really cute. Um, let me see if their edges are different. Oh yeah. So like on this red one with the tree, you get the green and white. And then on this one, you get like a red sweater pattern. Oh, that's sweet. And these are two packs for a dollar and they're smaller. I don't know, they're seven by nine inch. So if the cello bags don't hold everything, this definitely will. I can put the mug and everything in the bag. So we'll see. And then I picked up this set, which says tis the season. Oh, tis the season to be merry. Tis the season to be jolly. <gasps> I love that and it matches the front and this one say may your days be jolly and bright and on the side of this we have some green sweater snowflakey love that and then I just grab these two with the snowman oh look at the side of that bag with the plaid so we have a couple snowman and then just one snowman and I love these bags on this one and he has some green. So I grabbed three sets, so six bags total. That will be perfect for what I need if they don't fit in the cello bags. So I just wanted some back. I will use them, they're gift bags, but just in case I needed to make sure that I had packaging for that. Um, if you have a Dollar Tree near you, and here's what I've learned from talking to the associate at my Dollar Tree, one of my Dollar Trees. So I have, I've mentioned before, one, two, three Dollar Trees in my immediate area three four five i have five dollar trees in my immediate area the one furthest from me so it's about five miles from here there is no hallmark store near that dollar tree and they sell hallmark expressions gift wrap like this is the real deal it's hallmark it has the grid lines on the back and this is the really long stuff no, I have plenty of gift wrap. I didn't need to buy gift wrap for the purpose of that, but I needed a big gift wrap to wrap a large gift. And this is 30 square feet. It is three yards. And then it is, um, I don't know how long it is. It doesn't really say, but, and this is, it has, um, some penguins and some Santas and some Cardinals. It's really pretty. And I like it. They had tons of this at my store, the Hallmark stuff no so then i have another dollar tree that's near and they also have like hallmark gift bags and all the really good stuff oh sorry my dollar tree that's closest to my house there's a hallmark around the corner they do not sell this stuff so i take it for what it's worth that's what the lady told me depending on how close there's a hallmark store near their store they will or will not sell the hallmark expression stuff but this is nice wrapping paper and for one dollar you cannot go wrong um yeah, so I grabbed a roll of this. They had tons of different, and they also have licensed, all kinds of licensed, which I'm sure you all know. I grabbed some tape. I bought before the tape dispenser there. It works very adequately. Is it fantastic? No. Is it crap? No, it works. And then I grabbed six more rolls of tape. Now, if I was wrapping a ton of presents for children and really want to make sure everything sticks, I'd probably buy the good tape. But this works just fine for what I need it for. Your mileage may vary, you know, it just depends. 
but um, and especially if you're using heavy duty gift wrap that really thick gift wrap is probably won't hold but it works fine for me um, for what I need it for and if I find it's not sticking I am sure in my gift wrap box I have others but I grabbed that just to have um, I grabbed some tissue I love this with the little Santa and the penguin and it matches actually this gift wrap uh, but this only comes with eight sheets so I think there's probably oh it says four printed designs I'm not sure about that there's green on the back Maybe they, they're just four different ones, but I'm sure it comes with a couple of this print and a couple of the plain. But I have some clothing I need to wrap, so I like to use tissue paper, and I like the cute stuff. And then I grabbed this one, which is 16 pieces of gift of tissue. It just has some, we wish you, what's that say? Merry Christmas season's greetings. And then this one has the, like, the mistletoe and greenery. I just liked it. And again, I don't have kids. I'm not wrapping a million gifts. So this little bit is perfect for me. I will say, however, when I see the big pack of the white come out, which my stores haven't received it yet, that has, or put it out, that has the huge pack and it's just plain white tissue. I grab a couple. I like to wrap my ornaments in that when I put them away. And I think I'm out for this year. So yeah, it works great. Um, I have glass ornaments. I like to wrap them in tissue. Sometimes I will try to use the tissue paper for multiple years, uh, but when it starts getting gross, I just throw it away. And then I got some gift boxes. Um, yeah, this is a three pack. Uh, I think this is the shirt size. They're cute. They have the little dogs, the Christmas lights, and then it says they have a box with mittens. And this is great. They're clothes boxes, guys. I don't know. And then I got the bigger size. They have a couple larger items that need to be wrapped. Uh, but this one has the truck and this one has the Santa. Now I will tell you, I put wrapping paper over these boxes. So to me, they're cute, but it's not, I, it's, I'm not just taping them down and putting a bow on them. You know, I use them. So I got some shirt boxes. We used to recycle. There was a once upon a time in my life where I had my mom, my brother, me, we had all the, you know, nieces and nephews and Christmas was a huge ordeal and we would go through bags and boxes and the whole shenanigans. But, you know, we're kind of down. The kids are older, a lot more gift cards. It just, you know, it's not the season of life that I'm in where I'm buying 100,000 things. I have a select few people that I will give pet gifts to. And yeah, I mean, it's perfect. So I cannot have to store. I remember two years ago, Christmas, maybe last year, I went through my Christmas wrapping in the Christmas box and I took into work bowl tubes at brand new gift wrap because I would buy it every year on clearance, but I just don't need all that. So I took it and it was kid stuff and princesses and for the little ones, no, nope, didn't need it. So I got rid of it all except for a few, you know, that I needed for this, you know, to get me through a year or so. And then I will reevaluate. So I have a few tubes downstairs and I have this and we're good. And then I have two larger things that need to go in, well, one larger thing that needs to go in a gift bag. And this says, believe in the magic. <gasps> Look at the Santa. This is a big, very big in a large bag. And it just has that. Now, what I will tell you that I will do when I'm taking gifts is I take a little bit of hot glue and I just secure my strings. Um, especially if it's a heavy or something. So the little right here where you see the black, I just put a little dab of hot glue to hold this in place. But these are nice bags. This is the Voila Dollar Tree brand. It's pretty decent size. I have a larger gift that I needed. So I grabbed that bag. And then I picked up another bag. I mean, I guess they're interchangeable. Interestingly enough, this bag feels more sturdy than this bag. But this says, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, down the sides. Um, so when I, on Christmas, I travel to a few places. And when I go to my one sister-in-law and Sarah and I and her brother, I will take their gifts all in one bag, however big the bag is. It could be this bag, who knows. I bring all of their gifts together so when I store it under the tree all the things that go to each house goes in one bag so I don't forget anything 
And then I put any gifts that I receive back in the bag so I don't lose it or forget it. Because if you've done Christmas with kids, you know, things everywhere and things get lost. So I've learned over the years, this little system with the kids, when my nieces were little, especially or younger, and we would go to different family members, we would bring a, a gift bag, all the other gifts in one bag, and then they would each have a bag to put their presents down in to take home. And then we didn't lose pieces. You know, they wanted to open things. They wanted to play while the adults were talking, which was perfectly fine. So what we would do, and I would help them, we would open their bag, the big bag that was theirs, and we'd put everything in it that would, you know, fit inside of it. And then they could take out one toy at a time, you know, whatever they wanted to open. And this is when we weren't at our own house. When we were at our own house, that's a different story. But when you're traveling and having to go, you know, I mean, this is the year of multiple family members. And although this might not be the year for that, but anywho, that was how we worked it out. And it worked really well. And the girls didn't tend to lose things or forget things that other people's houses. So they, you know, had all their gifts together. All right, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to put this all away, drink my coffee, and then start working on a new DIY for you. All right, you have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.